for coming here. Thank you for, uh, thank you for spending a little bit of time away from your mobile phones, because I know it's a little tense in the modern world. I don't know what happens to chargers. Everybody gets a charger with their phone. Why do households always end up with one charger in the kitchen? <laughs> that everybody fights and steals. There's no love in homes anymore. People will steal power now. <laughs> you put your phone on charge and leave it for a period of time. You come back after a few hours expecting it to be on 80, 90, 100%. Your phone is just next to the charger and somebody else in the house is on the charger. And they defend it all about the battery life. You've stolen, why did you take my phone off the charger? You were on 62 and I was only on 14. Announcing to the house, guys, keep an eye on my phone. As soon as I hit 62, that's enough for me. That's good enough. <laughs> People cannot cope. When your phone runs out of battery, it's like your life is over. You, how am I going to live? How am I going to live? I've got no power. My phone's dead. My phone's dead. You suddenly miss all these things. I can't, I can't look up on Google. I can't look at photos. I can't receive calls. I don't know what I'm going to do. The maps, I might need the maps. I don't know what to do. But it wasn't so long ago, OK? Many people in this room will remember this, that we used to not have mobile phones. And it wasn't such a panic when we left the house. We didn't used to leave the house and go, oh, I don't think I can leave all this stuff behind. I might need it. Can you open the boot? I'm going to need to bring all my encyclopedias. I might need to look something up. Um, I'm going to bring some board games. Is that all right? I'm going to take some board games. Every photograph I've ever taken, I'm going to take all of those. My A to Z, my ordnance survey map. All my record collection, my entire... I'll leave the back seat as well. All right, I'll take that compass. Oh, and the torch. That's fine. <laughs>
Lancashire police have apologised for firing a taser stun gun at a blind man. <laughs> they tasered a blind man. <laughs> it gets worse. Look why they did it. His white stick was mistaken for a samurai sword. <laughs> they thought he was a ninja! <laughs> when have you ever seen a ninja attack someone like this? Moment they got him. I've got that ninja bastard. <laughs> he won't be troubling our streets again. <laughs> oh, bollocks. <laughs> I should have gone to Specsavers. <laughs> Either way, apparently his guide dog couldn't believe it. <laughs> America, check out this headline <coughs> Vandals behead a Virgin Mary statue. Now, I shouldn't laugh, but a week later, they replaced it with this. The statue's owner says that the vandals returned about a week later and replaced its head with this gnome. <laughs> it's such a weird crime. Who looks at the Virgin Mary and goes, what she needs is a beard and a pipe? 